Regan Slaymaker for International Boxing News. And I have the pleasure to be joined by the British and European Super Bantamweight champion, Liam Davies. Liam, how are you today, mate? I'm very well. Very well. Perfect. Great to have you. Great to have you on the channel. I mean, before we get into your massive uh, IBO World Super Bantamweight title opportunity against uh, Eric Robles, I do want to start kind of with kind of your, your 2023, if that's all right, mate. I mean, two huge uh, stoppage KOs against Jason Cunningham and Vincenzo uh, Lafamina as well. I mean, your 2022 was good, but did your 2023 uh, kind of make it the best year of your career so far? Um, I'd say my best performances. 22 was probably the best because I won the title, didn't I? So um, the hard one. I'm here trying to make 2024 my best. De definitely, mate. I mean, you you have starting off with a with a great fight. I mean, IBO world world title challenge against Eric Robles on April sixteenth. I mean, another magnificent seven card. I mean, it's great to start the year with a with a massive fight for yourself. Yeah, that's why I've been chasing big fights, and um, I've got it now. So, looking forward to it. Counting down the days now, not far away, and um, super excited. Yeah, definitely, mate. What do you know about kind of a uh, Robles heading into this fight? Obviously, he fought Lee McGregor, but do you know it? Do you know any much about him? Not too much. I watched the McGregor fight. He's he's a good good kid. He's young and hungry, and he's the IBO world champion. So um, he's there for a reason, and I think it's the right fight for myself. Last time he come over, he had a good win against the good lad in Lee McGregor. So um, yeah. I'm looking to change that this time round. Definitely, mate. And we look forward to seeing it as well. Obviously, we mentioned that IBO kind of world title on the line, obviously. It's not recognised as one of the, the main four, but it is still a small piece of that kind of world stage. I mean, excited to kind of make your mark on the world scene on March the 16th as well. Yeah, definitely. The belt, All the belts are irrelevant, really. It's just about taking the toughest fights and... Uh, the right fights, which I always ask for the best, and I was asking for a big fight, and I feel like to make right now, this is the biggest one for me. Definitely, mate, as well. Obviously, I know you've just mentioned uh, kind of kind of the belts there, obviously, but with with uh, your world rankings, I think your WBC number five, IBF number eight, WBO number nine, and Ring Magazine number ten. I mean, with rankings like that, you're going to be. In very much in contention for those big, big nights as well uh, this year. Yeah, I didn't even know that. I don't even <laughs> look. <laughs> but yeah, it's good. And uh, hopefully a win, I keep pushing up. And like I say, win this one in, in style and something bigger, bigger and better will come. Definitely, mate, as well. I do want to touch on kind of how you've made kind of Telford, kind of the Telford International Centre, kind of your your local fortress as well, mate. Obviously, it's kind of a big kind of all your fans come out. Obviously, I was there for your win against Cunningham. I think everyone was bouncing around in there when you when you won in that first round. But I mean, how does it feel to kind of make kind of the Telford International Centre, that fortress, a, a thing that like kind of not many boxers have in the UK as well? Yeah, it's class unreal for myself I've grew up in Telford all my life obviously still live here now and um, the town's been great to me I've had some great nights here and looking forward to some more in the future is definitely, what I'd mate. like definitely mate is it kind of obviously this fight's in Birmingham obviously it's not too far away from Telford but is it is the plan to kind of after this huge fight get a defence or another big fight in back at the international centre uh, yeah, this one is in Birmingham. It's going to have half a Telford there. We've done a lot <laughs> of tickets and they support me well. So I'm grateful for that. And I don't know what's next. In my my mindset right now is nothing else really matters. Like nothing else in this world matters other than this fight. So it's a good question for after. But yeah, I'd like to be at Telford again. Definitely, whether it's the international ground or the fo uh, international or the football ground, but I feel like we've shown that we can fill the place out. I've been to boxing shows since, in that other companies are done in Telford, and it's not quite the same as um, when Liam Davis had a line in it. So, yeah, I think it's due. No, Hopefully, definitely. this year it'd be nice. 
No, definitely, mate. And I'll keep that question when we catch up after your win on March 16th as well, mate. I do want to touch on kind of BCB promotions as well, obviously. Well, whilst obviously you signed to Queensbury and Frank, I think um, I think you're still uh, co signed with BCB, I think, or they do a lot of kind of pushing with, pushing with you as well. I mean, it was a huge year for, for them as well, obviously. Yourself picking up uh, the titles, uh, your British and uh, European titles. Nathan Heaney picked up his British. Tyler Denny picked up the European as well. I know that obviously you're close, you train with Tyler Denny as well, but it was a huge year for you guys at BCB. Yeah, so BCB is like our manage management, but um, I train there a lot with with especially with Tyler, with Kane Baker, Zach Parker's in the gym. You got Kirsty Bavington. There's a lot of upcoming fighters as well, so it's a great um, place to surround yourself with compet competition is healthy competition and yeah i train up there five six days a week and i do a lot of training with tyler i was buzzing for him he deserves <laughs> it he's a top lad and uh, we are I, i'd still say i'm number one in the gym he he thinks different but yeah i was really happy and bcb have had a great year poor man errol johnson of put numerous hours over the years into boxing and they deserve it they're special people and um i'm really part of, really happy to be part of bcb for sure no definitely mate i mean the rise is, is is unbelievable especially you guys kind of kind of obviously you being number one and then the rest of the guys with the titles as well mate oh i mean liam we've absolutely smashed through my questions thank you again for your time today mate my final one we ask everyone this that comes onto the channel when all said and done what does boxing mean to you boxing's my life man no boxing no life as the great canelo says <laughs> it's all i've ever known started as a young lad in the gym with my granddad running the gym and my dad was a professional fighter so i had boots that didn't fit me when i uh, going up to my knees at knee eye so yeah boxing's always been a massive part of my life and um will do till my last days i've had great memories out of the sport and it's changed my life so without boxing i wouldn't be liam davis I mean, well, I'm not being not being funny, mate. But long may it continue. For someone who first watched you when you fought on, uh, I think Eddie Hearn's uh, uh, behind closed doors show, mate. It's great to see the rise that you've got to now. But no, Liam Davies, thank you very much for your time today, mate. And best best of luck, March sixteenth as well. Thank you. Can I just say one of thing course. now? I want to say a thank you to everyone that's purchased tickets once again because. I'm very grateful and uh, I'm, I haven't seen many people because I've been tucked away training for this fight. But yeah, I'm, I'm very grateful. And the people that are supporting me, sponsoring me, they're helping me achieve my dream. So thank you very much. And my nutritionist, my management team, my training team, my wife who cooks all my food. The team, teamwork makes the dream work. And um we're going to do the business March the 16th. Definitely. Teamwork does indeed make the dream work. And we look forward to seeing all the fans down in uh, down at the Bir Birmingham in, uh, on March 16th. But Liam Davis, thank you very much, mate. That was a perfect place to end. Thank you for having me. Cheers. Cheers, man. No worries, mate.